everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4 with the Green family! Or well, in this case, we just have Tate! Oh, look at this handsome face! Whoops! <laughs> there we go! Look at this handsome face! But we are just here with Tate today because it is the last day of the Green family's big family vacation and Tate needs to catch a few very, very special fish and gather a few plants and insects that are only available in the Hermit's Deep Woods. Oh! holy days look how beautiful that is oh my gosh look at these stars oh okay I could I could get distracted here for like ever I could just stay here and stare at these stars for eons but Tate you lucky duck we have decided to let Tate have his time here so he's the only one here at the hermit's area <gasps> and there's butterflies Tate quick 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 come over here and catch them catch them but yeah, we had a mod installed that was causing, oh, we have a new hermit. It's not the little old man anymore. It's this little old lady. Oh, we got to do a cheerful introduction. Hello, Miss Hermit. Oh, I love your purple outfit. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her go. Oh, she's a barefoot sort of person. I'm totally into that too, ma'am. Feel the dirt under your feet. That's totally my philosophy. Tate, what do you want? No, we're not buying a bar, Tate. Focus on finding new crystals. We're not banging an instrument, Tate. Get over here and, oh, Aisha, apparently. That's her name. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to harvest a few of her things. What is this? A normal tomato bush. Do we even have tomatoes? I don't think we have tomatoes. Pardon us, ma'am. We're just going to casually, like, collect some of these things. Tate, what is going on with your skill bar? It is just, like, zigzagging everywhere. And then what's this? It's a parsley bush. It's not ready to harvest yet, though. I guess we need to spend a little bit of time hanging out here with her. It looks like she's got pretty much all the mixings for a good, a good delicious salad going on in here. Or soup, I should say. Onions and carrots. But yeah, Tate can get to know Aisha. And <gasps> there they are. Oh my gosh, look at these beautiful butterflies. These are those like rare moths. Oh, they're so pretty. Okay, Tate, quick, get over here. Get over here. The bugs all spawn at different times of the day. So it can be very, very tricky to find the right one. But oh, Tate, what a way to end the vacation. Because Tate, he is going to be passing on the, the torch of the, the Green family legacy. He and his sister Lily are going to be passing the legacy torch on to Pine and Aya. Alia. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to pronounce her name all this time later. Alia. There we go. All right, take go, 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 buddy, go. You can roast up something to eat in just a little bit. But they're going to be passing on the torch of those those new legacy heirs taking place pretty soon. And Pine and, or excuse me, and Tate is pretty soon going to become an elder. So I want him to be able to come over here and catch all of these beautiful animal insects that he wants. Luna moths, yes. Had we caught Luna moths before? No, they're new. Yes, they're new for us at least. Let's see. And he got the blue morpho butterfly. But what are the insects we're missing? There's some you can only find if you're over here visiting this lady. Let's see. Those are the prints. He does space prints. Insects. Wow, we're missing like a really common one. We're missing a whole lot of the insects. Oh my goodness. And I know you can get some like very specific fish. <gasps> What's that? Oh, it's a chipmunk. <laughs> That's actually a really good snap of the chipmunk because normally, oh, he's even got a little acorn. Ah, oh, that's adorable. All right, so let's see what we're doing over here. Ooh, a blackberry bush. Sweet. I don't think we have blackberries yet. Is that another chipmunk? What the heck is this? Oh, it's a bird. Jeez Louise. Like, all the animals here are just hanging out in the bushes. That's fascinating. It's a wild plant over here. Here, insects. I wonder what, like, Alia is thinking. Okay, we're finding, like, apparently the Easter Bunny has been over here, too. My goodness. <laughs> but I wonder what Alia thinks. Oh, are those insects? No, it's another bird. That is so cool. They're just, like, sitting on top of everything. Lots of plants to gather. We have all of those kinds of plants, though, so I think we'll let Tate eat while I hunt for more insects. Ooh, and then we'll come over here to this big, beautiful garden. Oh my gosh, look how cute this is. This is perfect. Tate can just come over here and like roast up some food. <gasps> can we catch those? Can we catch those? We can catch those. Catch those, Tate. Catch those. Catch the, the dragonflies. 
I would love more dragon dragon flies because they're just so awesome. All right, and then we'll light this. I guess we, then we could invite Alia over to like tell a group story. Um, or like hang out. She can come join us. That's a good way for them to bond over a fire. Let's add a log. And then let's roast uh, some fish because that's totally a Tate kind of thing to do. And let's tell a group story while we're here. Uh, an adventure story about gold booty. Ah, uh, that sounds pretty fun. Alright, let's invite over our friend, the hermit. Let's check out her house again, because I, I remember we looked at the hermit's house before, but that was when we had a guy hermit living here. Ooh, there's a new crystal. Tate wants to find a new crystal, so after he's done eating, we'll have him do that. Oh man, and the view from up here, if you get it just right, oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. This is just gorgeous. Oh, and there's a birdie! Ah, oh, this is probably one of my favorite places. And there's mushrooms everywhere! Of course it would be one of my favorite places to come. It's just so awesome. All right, let's see. He's busy telling stories, getting inspired. I'm, I'm on insect lookout for him. Oh, I love the cute little bat garden. I need to put down some terrain paint around where Tate hangs out. And of course she's got her whole house. We could probably set up a tent if Tate gets hungry. Man, here, whoop, nope, it's a chipmunk. <laughs> chipmunk sighting, two chipmunk sightings so far. That's pretty awesome. And then, what's he doing? Yeah, he's telling his adventure story, eating his fish. Let's see, oh geez, she's taking forever to show up. Come on, uh, Aisha. Oh, there goes a bird. There goes a, a pine needle. I keep thinking those are more dragonflies. She's working really hard on her plants. They're all ready to evolve. I wish we could help her with that. All right. And I think it's cool how she's like totally walking around barefoot in her woods. Cause look, there's nothing, there's nothing to step on. There's another bird. Man, there's a lot of goldfinches and other things, but we're not really finding. <gasps> Lurka landed in the bush again. Oh, that is so freaking cool. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. I love that. I hope that there's always more like little bits of ambient wildlife like that. Just totally enhance everything to me. All right, and there's a fossil. Tate, I found you a crystal and a fossil and several chipmunks. Maybe, maybe we can eventually get, maybe they'll add in being able to catch chipmunks uh, like in Sims 3. And where's our, yeah, the blackberries are totally new too. So that's pretty exciting. We'll have to collect a few more of the blackberries. I'm just going to let them kind of chit chat. There's another goldfinch. This is a very happy man. Look at how happy he is. <laughs> she's exhausted, so we'll let our, our friend go. But he's totally thrilled because he's like got the, the cozy campfire going, the fresh air. He's collected a creature. He has a new best friend uh, from his wife, actually. That's from his wife earlier. All right, and so let's just send him down. Well, actually, let's send him to go collect those rocks real quick because they might they might uh, have some more rocks roll in if we get these ones. Look at the bald eagles. Oh, I swear I love this area. No, 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 Tate, let her go to sleep. She's exhausted. I bet she goes to sleep when the sun goes down, so this is like very unusual for her to have a young whippersnapper having come into her, her territory. I swear I could see, like if I could, <gasps> look, look, now there's another crystal, what'd I tell you? The rocks are like multiplying. Let's collect a couple. Hopefully he'll find a new crystal because he really wants to. What's he complaining about? Ew, bad ingredients. Maybe he cooked a bad fish. Sorry, buddy. We're here to try to get you some rare fish from the waterfall. And we're also here to try to get you some of the uh, exclusive insects that are in this area. They come up at different times of day too. Oh, a treasure map, interesting. All right. Um, I don't know what I wanna do with that. Cause I actually want just some of the normal stuff. Look at all the chipmunks. There's like three chipmunks and we saw a fourth one run into this boulder. Chipmunk sightings, four. Oh, what the heck? What is this? Tate! Tate! Oh my gosh, what the heck? What did, what, what are you? What are you? Is this a will-o'-wisp? Oh my gosh, it's so cool, you guys. It's so cool. I don't even know how to like quantify this level of cool. This is like, 
A five mushroom alarm, cool. That's how cool it is. Okay, that is just what it's... Tate, this, now, catch. <laughs> this is awesome. I could totally see him giving this to Lily as a present. No, 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 don't go away, little will wisp Stay here, Tate. Are you moving your bunny hunkers? Oh, does it have little eyes? Jeez, that thing's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it makes like little noises. It makes a very quiet little hovering sound. Tate, catch it! That's right, catch it. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, we found a will-o'-wisp! Oh my gosh, and it's rare! Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Okay, I can totally, he's like, what did I just find? Like, he's really questioning it. Also, he's surrounded by insects. Let's put on some insect ligament. Or <laughs> why do I always say ligament? Some of the insect um, repellent. No. Let's go ahead and slap some of that on Ooh. so he's not so worried about it. It's not cupcake topping. Oh, there Oof. goes a beautiful bird. Come on, Tate. If you use it, you'll you won't have to worry about the itchies. That's better. You 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 made it out of ground up thingies, and now he's happy because he's bug free. Wonderful. Well, let's send him down here. That was very successful. Let's stick for treasure on this one. Very successful little find. That was so cool. I want more. I want more of those little guys. Those are so awesome. Oh, oh, nope, that's just a bird. <laughs> Got so excited thinking we found another one. I have never seen those before. That's kind of the appeal of, of diving in and exploring. Oh, there's a birdie little finch. And look at all the flowers. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. All right, he dug up a capsule. We'll have him open it up in just a second. Hunting down the spots where we've seen insects before. Ooh, an emerald. That one, I think, is totally new. I don't think we've ever had an emerald before. I don't know. Maybe we have? Who knows? Let's open up the, the capsule and see what's inside of it. Oh, a MySims trophy. And a decorative egg. <gasps> it's the little hopper MySims trophy. So we had the little frog frog guy. That's going to be so cute. Okay. Now that that is all done, let's send Tate over. Let's see. I don't see any more Will-O-Wisp kicking around. Let's send him over to go fishing, and we shall fish with ingredients to try to get some of the rare fish that are available. All right, so what to use, what to use? We've got some sage, we've got some grapes, we've got some delicious strawberries. I Personally, if I was a fish, I would go for the strawberries. But let's try going ahead with the minnow first and fishing with the minnow. Go for it, take go! But apparently there are some rare fish and they can be found in the waterfalls and there's some very specific rare fish and insects you can only find here in the deep woods. Which is why we're here. Look at poor Tate. You know, no wonder the hermit lives here. She would be able to stay so fit. Can you imagine this? Like just to get like from one zone to another. But it would be so peaceful and it would be like, oh hello little chipmunk that I see every day. Eventually you could lure him out with like cute little like lines of grapes or something like that. I knew a man who used to lure out chipmunks. Oh, Tate, 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 cancel that, cancel that. I found fireflies. Poor Tate, see what I mean? He's gonna be jogging like left and right, upside down even, just to find all the insects that we're gonna dig up. Hmm, or I should say catch from the air. You don't really dig them up. All right, let's see. Yeah, little bug, 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 bugs. I bet no one else really loves going out in the night and finding bugs. Oh, she woke up. Excuse me, ma'am. She's like, whoa, the back. She looks like a very happy woman, doesn't she? She looks like she lives a peaceful life, just enjoys what she does. Yay, we caught more fireflies. I think they upped the catch rates on the insects too, because I think it used to be you just caught one at a time. Ooh, look at this little cave. That's curious. Very curious indeed. Hmm. Then, any other insects? Nope. Nope. And then after we do that, I'll have Tate. Yeah, his, his mood's great. He's loving it out here. He is such a happy outdoorsman. So we'll have Tate go ahead. Any more Will-O-Wisps? That was so cool, catching that little guy and do some fishing. It's Tate's special day. Tate's special night, I should say. And then we'll fish with the minnow bait. 
Where's our little minnow? There's our little minnow. There we go. And... Aha! Yay! More fireflies! Woohoo! Very happy about that. I'm still not gonna grind them up into pieces of things though. Oh, hey, she like she just must wake up when she wants to, go to sleep when she wants to. It's, it's four in the morning. All right, normal plant, normal plant. Apparently it's ready to harvest. Strawberry bush, sage bush. Strawberry bush. Okay, oh, aw, she wants to chat with us. Can she chat while we fish? That would be really cool. Oh, and the beautiful morning rises. The sun is rising over this, like, lovely area. I really wish I could just have Tate move out here with Iris to retire. That would be the coolest thing ever. I wonder if that's something we can do. If we could just, like, move them to their own lot and then have them, like, on permanent vacation. Because they still age while they're, while they're here. Pretty sure. Yeah, they're still aging while they're, they're on vacation. So, I really... <gasps> There's more moths! Tate! More moths! Alright, we'll give him like a couple seconds to try to pull this fish out because it looks like he might have a nibble. Do we have a nibble, Tate? Aww. It's just a bunch of seaweed. Sorry, buddy. It's not the rumored rare fish. Go catch your, go catch your luna moths. They're so pretty. Man, that net trait really works pretty well. Yay! And, all the little, the, and the vacation end any minute now, so... I'm glad at least we got the Will-O-Wisp. I'm keeping my eyes peeled for everybody else too. Then we're gonna come over here, fish with bait. Maybe I need something a little bit more alluring. Uh, there's still a minnow. We've got some salmon and yellow perch and there's a trout. Well, let's go ahead and use the trout. I'm trying to catch the, the rare fish here. I heard rumor of rare fish. I want to see if that's true or not for Tate. But you know what? I really think that's what we'll do. I really honestly feel like once, you know, Pine gets established and he and his cousin are running the household, maybe we will just have Iris and Tate retire and move out into the wilderness and then they can just have like nice relaxing days. They can invite on vacation like their grandkids when they start being born and they can just stay like, oh, only four hours left. Okay, I hope we managed to get everything we need to. Let's see if we have any more insects coming up. Tate, find thyself. Ooh, a new fish has been caught. <gasps> Tate, good job. Ooh, what is it? Oh, look at him. That's the kind of joy he has in his life. Finding new varieties of fish fish. And being able to find new plants and just walk in the woods every day. Yep, I want to I wanna give him this kind of life. He deserves it. All right, so we managed to catch all those fireflies, and he just caught. He's so proud. He's like, I got you, I got you, little buddy. A sturgeon! Woo, look at that. I could have sworn we caught one of those guys before, but apparently not. All right, and let's go ahead. We'll have him fish again. Let's, like, the fish clearly are, have a discerning taste here, so let's do trout again. Something a little bit bigger. There's some dragonflies. We're okay with those guys. Um, let's see. What's this? Ooh, it's a fossil. We'll collect that in just a second. More luna moths. All right, Tate, it doesn't look like you're going to have much more time to fish over here. I wonder if there is a way. Another new fish? Wait, wait. Hang on. Are you sure about this? I'm really curious. Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh! <laughs> what? What? Hey! A mountain lion fish! Oh my goodness! My goodness! I wish we had an aquarium we could put that thing in. That is so cool. That is just so cool. Do we still have trout? We must still have trout to fish with because he's still going. I know we've got some minnows and a tetra. That's amazing. Now I don't want him to stop because we caught some really awesome stuff. We might need to try again. And now he's just fully confident and happy. That was a great catch, Tate. Let's try again. All right. 
I'm gonna get over here because the vacation is gonna be over any second now. Must get awesome fish. We're not using an emerald to fish. Not happening. Uh, tetra, goldfish, minnow. I'm willing to sacrifice a salmon because these are fish that appear to desire like some nice big delicious I want another mountain lion fish that's just too cool I want to put it in Tate's room I'll make it large put it in Tate's room somehow and just totally totally make it awesome because that's a huge mountain lion fish it was like as big as he is Tate did you catch another one come on buddy how much longer till he ages up? Only eight days, I can't believe it. And we're on like the slow too. Man, my little my little guy is gonna grow up. Oh, he's feeling homesick. It's because he misses his family. He's such a family oriented guy. Check the notebook to learn what type of useful, oh my goodness, is that a bass? Just like your good old classic bass? It totally is. I could have sworn we've caught those guys before. What the what the heck is the notebook, by the way? Is it just like the household collection thing? Is that what they're talking about? Like, is that the notebook? Is there a new notebook thing? Do I need to learn something new <laughs> about simming? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out what check the notebook means, because I don't I don't know what check the notebook means. I can't believe we still haven't found like most of the microscope prints either. Alright, I think we're doing good on the fish fish. How many of the Oh we're missing one more rare like fish that can only be found in this area. So let's try it one last time. We're doing really good so far on catching the rare fish. So let's fish with bait. Do I have any more large? I'm not throwing the crawdad out there. He's my first crawdad. Uh, there's some minnow, yellow perch. Would that work? Let's see if we can attract something with the yellow perch. The crawdads might be something that only come out with maybe the plants or like smaller fish. I'm not sure. Cause I'm not sure, like I just know like crawdad hunting when I was in Texas was just like finding their holes and digging up their little holes. Cause they have little like holes in the mud where they make like a little nest uh, of mud walls around it. Come on buddy, hold it in. He's gotta go pee so bad, I feel so sorry for him. Come on Tate, you can do it. Catch that fish. We're running out of time. Come on, come on. Your fishing skill is level 10. You can do it. You can do it! What do we find? Tate, no, it's not interesting enough, Tate. That's a bass, that's a bass. Let's let's fish with the bass, maybe that'll work. Oh, it's like, it's like so exciting. All right, that's the yellow perch. Let's throw a bass out there. Cause bass is just kind of like bass. No, Tate, come on, come on, come on. Fish with the bait, fish with the bait. And bass. Time is an illusion to a fisherman. Like, I think that's actually one of the traits he has. <laughs> Angler's tranquility. So as with Angler's tranquility, we'll find all of their problems seem to melt away when they're fishing, except if you really have to pee. Then you're going to have that moodlet. And if you're a little homesick, I think he can just ignore it while he's, does he have like, collected a creature, fresh air. He's just so happy here. I want, okay, what is the notebook? Oh, I think I clicked on it. Does that... I want to see. I want to see. A new fish has been caught. Check out the notebook to learn what type of bait is useful for catching more of the same species. All right, where's the notebook? I want to know the notebook. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Apparently, I have new things to learn. <laughs> so, there's our mountain lion fish. Huh. Whoops. Okay, notebook's not over here. I'm going to learn what that notebook thing is, guys. That is not new. We already caught that guy. Oh, that's a walleye, actually. I guess that is new. I guess, oh, he's new. He's just not one of the exclusive uh, outdoor retreat only fish fish. All right, well, we'll keep going. And Tate, I'm going to look for rare insects. There's dragonflies right there. Um, it looks like the luna moths are, are over here. I would love to catch some Luna Moths and give some extra ones to Alia because I think she would love it. Um, and then there's another insect area down in this little forest. Don't see any here. All right, Tate, I think I'm gonna have to send you 
to the inside. Oh, there you go. Eva. What is that? Kate, you've caught trout. Apparently the notebook thing must be totally new. And like every time we catch a fish, the notebook thing is like, good job, you caught a new animal, even though it's not a new one. But that makes me really curious about what the heck the notebook is. I need to find that out. They are constantly, I have to say the updates that they're constantly adding to The Sims 4 are pretty darn amazing because they really do add something to the game. Features, especially. It's not like just foo foo stuff. It's often legitimately features, which is very cool. All right, Tate's caught some dragonflies. That's a good boy, Tate. I can't believe he's going to be old soon. I just want to spoil him into his final days. And I'm really debating if I'm going to keep him as a ghost to like take care of a family memorial park of some kind. Uh oh, here we go. Uh oh. Really has to pee. Now he's very uncomfortable. Well, try to catch those little insects, Tate, and then we'll come in here and let's go home. <laughs> it's time to cancel and end the vacation. Woo! All right, guys. Well, I will see you back home and we are gonna get ready. We're gonna try to find Pine's girlfriend and hook them back up and we're gonna get ready because the family is going to go through some major growth changes pretty soon. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this is gonna be happening. <sighs>